does anybody think would be the conditions under which shale gas would be a part of the solution? You show, you show us if you do it safely. So we want to make sure once we do something, we do it correctly. Get people on board and say, well, this, this is what happens. Right. People might be interested in the northern part of Denmark being surrounded by turbines. People in Falls, most are still hate them. Didn't notice any noise. Anything. And one of the first facts of sites was actually down in Suffolk and they put marmite down there. Marmite? Mm. Anything to do with minerals or extraction is a counter. Why marmite? Because <laughs> all the bugs basically ate the marmite. Swell! Well. Seriously? Yeah. We do need to know how people feel and what they think. You had your opportunity to say, to say in your area where you think development was going to and I, we thought that was quite important. Mm. Because we can't really explain if you don't know where they're coming from. The problem is about five people turned up. Mm. Financial incentives, but there was also the technological uh, footprint was there. Uh, and the HSE, or the HSE determined, likewise from a health and safety perspective, would that help resolve the, the resource and issue? I mean, it's, again, is anybody else Anybody else got any other views on streamlining, whether it be a good or a bad thing? Um, I can't get anybody to talk to me at all about whether or not that's safe to put next to a school. Mm -hmm. because it's not. If you look at the American example, where the, uh, the amounts are around 10% of the amounts go back into the community. We've touched on a lot of the solutions, so it's not necessarily yep. something that can't be solved, there's something definitely to be concerned with.